Hi everybody, this is Lars from CatCamStuff.com. So today we're gonna do three quick HSM Works tips and we're gonna call it Rev1. So this is the first one of hopefully many that you will find here on the Cat Cam Stuff's YouTube channel. Now this is kind of like a continually of our five product of SolidWorks tips that you may or may not have seen. And if you haven't been to CatCamStuff.com before, or maybe you haven't been there for a while, you will see that we got kind of like a new site. So we just jump there quick, um, just to show you that if you go um, over to the right over here, you will see that there's a category called SolidWorks Tips. And in here you will find about 100 SolidWorks Tips. Five product of SolidWorks Tips are in here and they're all um, in here. But today we're actually gonna do some CAM. So we're gonna do uh, three quick HSM Works Tips. So um, let's jump right into it. Let's get into SOLIDWORKS. You will see here that what I have is a SOLIDWORKS assembly, um, a part sitting in a vise. I like to do it like this so I can kind of like see how everything uh, goes. So let me jump over to my HSM Works tab here. And uh, the first tip of today is right mouse button. You can actually right mouse button right inside of HSM Works and get to pretty much anything. So if I right click, I can from in here go and create a new job. And that's where we tell uh, HSM Works what we're machining in our assembly and also we can set our stock and in what direction our Z is at. So I'm just gonna click on the new job and for the model here, I'm just gonna select the part that I'm gonna machine and that's really all I have to do on this part here. Now, so tip number one, right click and you can actually do that again. If I right click again, then you will actually see that I can get right into my tool path in here. So I don't even have to go up to the command manager as you see up on top. I can actually just go right in here and you will see that I have all the tools that we want uh, for machining apart from right in here. So I'm just gonna hit the facing operation here. So tip number one, use the right mouse button, right? It's okay to be lazy when we're using uh, CAD or CAM. Now for my second tip, um, if you are facing off your part, I don't know if you knew this, but if I just go in here and select my tools, I'm just gonna select the face mill here. Now see that orange uh, boundary box around our part. Um, we actually don't have to select any geometry if we just want the tool to face off the entire part. So all we have to do is select the facing operation, step one. Step two is to select the tool we wanna use. And if we just want to literally just face off the entire part, we are done. We can hit the green check mark and you will see that our tool path gets generated. So that's tip number two. If you're just facing off a part, don't have to select any geometry. Now tip number three is that now where we have our tool path, we can actually go in and we can right click on that and you will see we have a lot of great options. Now one of them in here is called protect. That means that we can actually lock this tool path up. Now the neat thing about being inside SOLIDWORKS um, is that if our model changes, our tool path wanna change too. But sometimes you maybe wanna mess around with the model and you don't wanna mess with the good, good tool path you get created. So this is a trick that you can go in and, uh, and lock your tool path so they are not, you're not updating when you're changing your model. And you can of course just right click on it and then you can go in and uncheck the protect button and, and be out of it again and just regenerate it. So couple of quick tips, right mouse button, don't have to select any geometry if you just gotta face off the entire part. And then also that you have the control, you can go in and lock whatever you've created as a good tool path here. Um, I just gotta generate the tool path first here. And we can now go in and we can protect it, lock it down so we know that nothing's gonna change. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed these couple of quick tips. Um, any comments, you're always welcome to either comment on the, the blog or of course, always email me, Lars at catcamstuff.com. Thank you so much. I hope you have an awesome day and I hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.